Welcome back, Storytimers. Today's read aloud is Don't Say <coughs> Elephant by Stuart Heritage and Nicholas Slater. Nobody knew why Pancakes was called Pancakes. He wasn't a pancake, he was a dog. And he didn't even like pancakes. The only food that Pancakes liked was pizza. So we're agreed, he said to his brother Cha-Cha one Sunday Monday. First we go and get a pizza and then we go to the playground. Playground first, shouted Cha-Cha and tore off into the distance. Pancakes felt his tummy rumble. It was going to be a long day. By the time Pancakes got to the playground, Cha-Cha had already been on the slide, the swings, the roundabout and the monkey bars. He was very excited. Elephant! Cha-Cha shouted. Pancakes rolled his eyes. Not this again. There aren't any elephants, he said. But Cha-Cha had already found something else to investigate. Cha-Cha, leave there alone, Pancakes called. He didn't like the look of this. They wouldn't be allowed into the pizza restaurant if one of them stank like a bin. But before Pancakes could protest any further, he heard a yelp. Cha-Cha had found something. A little purple woman. Cha-Cha scrunched up his nose. Elephant, he said. No, little dog, cried the woman, doing a twirl. Her voice was surprisingly loud for someone so small. I am not an elephant. I am the genie of the bin, and I am here to grant you three wishes. What's a wish? said Pancakes. The genie explains that a wish is something that you want. Ask me for Anything, she said, and I will give it to you. But how? The genie explained that she was magic. If you're magic, why do you live in a bin? Said Pancakes. Look, do you want these three wishes or not? Said the bin genie. Did you hear that, Cha-Cha? Said Pancakes. This bin person says that we can have anything we want in the whole wide world. Right, this is our big chance, Pancakes continued. We can ask for anything, anything at all. Now, I know you like elephants, but what about a pizza? A pizza the size of a paddling pool. Cha-Cha cocked his head to one side. Great, I'll ask her, said Pancakes. Just whatever you do, don't say elephant. Pancakes turned to the little purple woman. Bin genie, we know our first wish. Please can we have a elephant? shouted Cha-Cha. Your wish is my command, cried the bin genie. One elephant coming up. <coughs> That's one elephant coming down, wailed Pancakes. Where are we going to put an elephant? Oops, said Cha-Cha. Sorry. Never mind, we've still got two wishes left, said Pancakes. Bin Genie, our second wish is for a great, big, yummy, cheesy elephant, shouted Cha-Cha. The genie rolled her eyes. Your wish is my command, she sighed. One great, big, yummy, cheesy elephant. Cha-Cha, yelped Pancakes. What did I tell you? Don't say elephant, said Cha-Cha. That's right. Don't say elephant. Pancake scratched his head. They had one wish left. Cha-cha, I'm going to have to ask the bin genie to make the elephants go away. That will be our last wish. Cha-cha looked over to the elephants longingly. His head dropped. Oh, he said to Pancakes. Your final wish, please, said the bin genie. I do have other things to do today, you know. Pancakes looked at Chacha's sad little face. He looked at the elephants. His tummy rumbled and he sighed. <sighs> okay, two pillars, please, genie. Your wish is my command, said the genie. <laughs> And with that, she hopped on to the number 28 bus and was gone. Cha-Cha looked up at Pancakes with a puzzled expression. 
If we're keeping these elephants, they'll need something to sleep on, Pancakes explained. Oh, elephants, said Chacha happily. Oh, pizza, said Pancakes, even more happily. Come on, let's go home. I do like these elephants, said Pancake. But why do I have to sleep next to the cheesy one? <coughs> Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.